Hello and welcome to my first episode of Frontend Web Development. Before we start, just create a folder. Name the folder Web Design. Then you need a text editor. There are lots of editors available. If you download Sublime Text, just write on Google how to download Sublime Text. Just click with your PC, it will be automatically downloaded. I have this already in my PC, so just cancel it. After download the editor, install and open it. Click File, Save As, select your folder, click All File and select this HTML. Name your folder index.html and save it. First of all, you need to write doctype.html. Doctype should be capital and HTML in smaller. Little zoom it. Now it's ok. Then write HTML and close the tag. Remember that every tag has starting and closing tag. And your whole code will be between two HTML tag. Head, head close. Body, body close. Between head, you need to write title tag. So what is title? Title is this one in website. Write the title our new side. Let's write something in the body. Your whole website design will be between two body tag. P stand for paragraph. This is our first paragraph. Then click file and save it or press Ctrl S. Just open your folder in browser, you can see your content. Another tag is called H1 which stands for headline. And there are 6 headlines, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5 and H6. If I refresh, you can see there are different size of each tag. There are some inline code you need to learn before start web design. If you write lorem ipsum in Google, you will find copyright free content. You can use this content while practicing and this is totally copyright free. Just copy and paste it. Okay, now our page is like this. There is a tag V which stands for bold. Now this word is bold. Another tag is I which stands for italic.
strong tag work as same as V tag. If you want to mark your text, you need to use mark tag. Now this is in yellow mark. U tag is for underline. Those basic inline code you must learn if you want to be a frontend web developer. If you want to add list in your website, use ULLI code. UL stand for unordered list and LI stand for list item. Copy and paste three more time. Now we can see this is in unordered listed. Another is called OL, which stands for order list. Order list and unordered list has different kind of property. Using those code, you can change the look of list item. I forgot to show another inline code is strike. It is to strike the text. I love this marquee HTML tag. This text is now running. You can see this in newspaper or blog site. There are few properties available for marquee tag. Scroll amount means how fast text will go. Write this just 5. This is running little bit slow. Make this 20. Now we can see it is running more fast. Another one is background color. You can change the direction as well.
and you can fix the white area. No more for today. In the next video, I will talk about how you can add audio, image, video, YouTube video and so on. So subscribe and press the bell icon for next video. If you feel this video is useful, please share with your friends.